Anyway, back to what I was saying, life is worth it. And what I did yesterday morning was not even right to do towards myself. But think about it, I'm 30 years old. Anytime I do reach out for help, a prime example, there's a, there's a church, Central Life Church, I follow them on YouTube, and I reached out to help that somebody was threatening to kill my life and t- ran towards me. A white man that has Asperger's, I said his name so many times, wants me, I, I know he was manifesting this, it's obvious, but at the end of the day, I got a purpose, I am alive, and it's not about to focus on no negative people, because what can't kill me is making me stronger, and I'm a li- living testimony that God has a purpose for me, regardless. The people who knew of me in my life that, that gossiped about me, my brother, my old brother, Jay Medley, Roger, told me to my face in his car that he had at the top. Mommy said, I'm not going to make it in life. When you heard that from your own sibling, how would that make that, how would you feel? I love all my siblings, but I am not understood by them. Because I'm not a follower, I'm a leader. I love them no matter no matter what. They bully me, man. But you know, that's a good reason for experience because I can speak up for myself than I ever did before. And I stand up for my own daughter. Did you know my daughter is in Jamaica, not of me throwing her away? But I love the education from Jamaica because they mature children from basic school. I wish I had that. I think I'll be far ahead in life than I am now. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason and I accept it. Like I'm saying, whatever's going on in your life, you accept it. I accept my daughter. I love my daughter. I love anybody that helped me. And has my best interest in their heart. My intuition keeps saying that my daughter was praying for me. She was thinking about me. I don't know, man. I don't know how I know, but my gut tells me she's always on my uh, I'm always on her mind. Looks like she's always on my mind. Just like somebody else here of the opposite sex. Always. I'm always on his mind. And he won't say it. But I know, and I'm not stupid, and I wasn't born last night. Actually, I was <sighs> spiritual awakening that life has a meaning. My life has a meaning. I am worth it. I am loved. I know I'm loved. Thank you to Pastor Duffus and his wife, <laughs> who kept the life me. I love you. You know, my own biological parents didn't tell me I love you. I love them. My dad gave me hell before he died the Friday of May 11, 2018. I wasn't, my body was here, but my mind was gone. I had lost a lot of blood. I didn't, I I remember I did have to get a transfusion after giving birth to my daughter. I went over to my dad with all my strength. I gave him a kiss on the forehead and I died there and then I reconciled because that's all I could say. Sometimes actions do speak louder than the word, words itself. Thank you to Dallas Saint Adventist Church. Thank you to everyone that has that actually goes online and physically goes there. If you had your best interests at heart. And actually cared about me instead of gossiping or whatever, like my own dad did, or anybody else in the Seventh Day Adventists at Virginia like Conference and Northeastern Conference of the Seventh Day Adventist belief. I still thank you for whatever you did, whether it is pessimistic or negative, because you know what? In life, we learn from it, and it's our choice, like everyone has a choice, because we're not robots. God gave us that ability to make choices for ourselves, right? 
I learn from it. Always have an open mind. Listen to others. And I'm saying this to all Christianity. Whatever age you are, we all can learn.